I compare looking for a job in BC to finding a spouse. In my undergraduate degree, I was a math major, and by some stroke of luck, I started working on mathematical problems in economics. And I realized that I really, really, really love math, but I don't appreciate that it's soulless. But once you bring it to the economics and finance, the math breathes life into the stories that the numbers tell. And I love that. For me, shoes is my guilty pleasure because this is my opportunity to express my personality and my mood in a way that is takes very little of my time, apart from shopping, which I deeply enjoy, but just thinking about where I am today in the morning, spending five seconds to put them on and wear them with pride. I cook. I had a very stressful day this summer, and my way to distress is I spend the whole Sunday making dumplings. My kids were counting 838 of them. When I came to Darden, originally I had a portfolio of research that was a bit reflecting on the dual personality that I had. Because half of my research uh, portfolio when I came to Darden was about mortgages and consumer finance. The other half was about venture capital. And I deeply love teaching those topics because they nicely complement my research. In research, I'm looking at uh, funding to consumers, whereas in my teaching, I'm looking at funding to small and medium and large sized businesses. I typically compare building a research project to a hunt. You think that a rabbit is hiding in that part of the woods and you start exploring that. And more frequently than not, once you start getting data and analyzing initially the data, you see something different than what you originally expected. And that creates a much more interesting hunt because now the data is proving you wrong. Now you have to figure out what exactly is going on. I love to upcycle jackets, to paint walls in different colors. And that brings me a lot of joy and gives me the outlet for my creativity. I really deeply enjoy teaching venture capital and private equity elective. There is a lot there that um, is unexpected for students. There is a lot there that spans a lot of different areas. And it's not necessarily purely quantitative. I'm in a place that I'm surrounded by great people with some of whom I compete on shoes. And with others, I talk about research or raising kids or excellence in a classroom or how do I make sure that all my students come to class on time. It's amazing community on so many dimensions. And I find that when you are surrounded by people that make you happy, you're very productive. Darden created an environment for me to be happy and hence to be productive.